Whether it's the holidays, a social event, or perhaps even your birthday, most people tend to deviate from their diet on multiple occasions throughout the year. Now, there's a big difference between a bodybuilder who has a cheat meal every week and a carnivore dieter who cheats once a year for Christmas or Thanksgiving. Uh, those are two definite things we have to consider when looking at the gut microbiome and what foods are being introduced into the diet. And I'm not here to give people advice on like, oh, stick to foods that are close to your original diet because that would kind of defy the point of cheating. Obviously, if I go to a restaurant, I try to focus on protein-centric dishes. And in most cases, the only thing that I really have outside of my diet might be seasonings, a little bit of flour here and there. So the impact is never too drastic for someone like me. I make sure to never go crazy, but in the scenario where, you know, you've been eating steak for three months straight and then you have a piece of pizza, you're going to run into some issues. Now, whether those issues are allergy related, you know, lethargic, stomach pains, whatever the issue you get from consuming your cheat meal is, the most important thing to keep in mind is the transit time of digestion and removing that food from your stomach as soon as possible. And the best way to do that is to resume your normal diet for several days until you have had that bowel movement of that cheat meal. So, you know, let's say you cheat on Christmas day and you had way too much food that you shouldn't have eaten. Maybe you go back on the carnivore diet for four to five days and then you can fast, you can exercise, you can try to make up for that cheat meal. But the thing that a lot of people try to do and one thing that you shouldn't do is fasting right after you have that cheat meal. Because what you're essentially doing is you just consumed a whole bunch of food that your body isn't used to and now you're fasting and you're leaving it in your stomach. Ideally, you would clear your stomach and then worry in the future about any possible negative implications from gaining weight to inflammation. Because the longer that food sits in your stomach that your gut microbiome is not used to, you know, the higher the chance that you break out is, the more inflammation there's going to be, the more negative reactions you are going to see stem from that food fermenting and digesting in your stomach over the course of a few days. So again, go back to your original diet, maybe even try to eat more food just to push it out. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is don't switch over to like a raw meat diet after cheating, thinking that raw meat is like cleaner or better for your stomach than cooked meat because raw meat has a very slow digestion rate. So what's gonna happen is if you have a giant cheat meal full of all this junk and then you eat raw meat, which digests very slowly, you might not have a bowel movement for like several days to a week if you know you haven't had raw meat moving normally in your digestive tract. So that's definitely something to keep in mind is really getting that food out of your digestive system and also what food you are using to get it out of your digestive system because the raw meat will digest at a much slower rate than cooked meat. Outside of getting that food out of your digestive system, consuming high vitamin foods like liver, which is very high in retinol, uh, taking some vitamin D3 supplements, really keeping the nutrient density high and the food quality high can kind of alleviate any acne, uh, especially if you incorporate seafood and seaweed and iodine. Uh, really staying hydrated helps but not, you know, over hydrating to the point of diluting your stomach acid. Uh, so overall, you know, if I was to cheat at night, you know, the thing I would do the next day is, you know, get back on my diet, eat a regular amount, stay really hydrated, focus on the nutrient dense foods and not worry too much about, you know, fasting or reducing calories for at least like four to five days to a week. So hopefully this helps some of you guys out with the holidays. You know, if there are periods where you're really like binging and just eating whatever you want. Uh, I, I really I really don't know what to tell you. You know, try to stick to protein. Uh, you know, is there something you could do during the cheating to help alleviate your symptoms? I mean, if you want to incorporate digestive enzymes like uh, ox bile and beta and HCL, you know, by all means, uh, you could try using those things. But you know, if, you, if you're stuffing yourself with like four to five pounds worth of food a day, very, very little is going to help you, uh, to, to be honest, especially if it's food you're not used to eating. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys would like to support me, please subscribe and share the video. If you guys wanna check out anything in the description from my Amazon shop, all the salts I use, 
to my Patreon, interesting story about me. Uh, for you guys who don't know, I am a triplet. And just recently for Christmas, I did launch my hygiene products. If you guys are interested in tooth powder, deodorant, moisturizing cream, or lip balm, definitely check that out on my website. And uh, last but not least, if you guys are on social media, Twitter, Instagram, please drop me a follow. Uh, I got some. Re I got a really funny picture that someone drew for me. Uh, thank you so much, guys, uh, of me standing in front of the blender uh, cartoon. It's really, really funny. So definitely check out my Instagram or Twitter if you guys haven't seen it lately. But uh, outside of that, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the year. And uh, I'll see you guys soon.